This is a tutorial for the Panasonic HMC80, and it'll serve as a brief overview of some functions of the camera. First, you need to insert the battery into the battery slot, which is located at the rear of the camera. The battery release is located to the left of the battery slot. In order to use the camera with the tripod, you have to attach the tripod blade. So proceed to the bottom of the camera and look for the two holes. The first one is the screw hole, the second one is the pilot hole. So you want to line up the screw in the screw hole and the pilot peg in the pilot hole, and you want to screw it in like so. Make sure that the lens um, indicator is facing the lens, and then to tighten it up again, use a coin. I have a penny here, and just screw it in, and then you should be all set. Next, you need to take an SD card and insert it into your camera. So on this camera, the SD card slot is hidden behind a dust covering on the left-hand side of the camera. So open it up, insert your card, and then close the covering. The power button is located on the right-hand side of the camera next to the hand strap. To turn the camera on, simply press the white button next to the red uh, record button and shift it into the on position like so. The display screen can be viewed through the eyepiece on the left side of the camera, or if you'd rather prefer to look directly at the screen, simply lift the hatch at the bottom of the eyepiece, pull it back to reveal the screen hidden beneath. Next, you have to format the card. In order to format the card, though, you'll be using the buttons down here, the menu, and these arrow buttons, and the enter button in the center. So we're going to cut over to the screen, and you'll see where we're going. So now, to format the card, you're going to go down and you'll press menu. And then you'll use the arrow buttons to scroll down to other functions. Then press the enter button at the center of those arrow buttons to select it. Click card format. Scroll up to yes. Then scroll over to yes again. And now you just wait for it to format. And now that it's done, you can just exit. So you can either press enter or menu. Either one's fine and you're back to start. In order to properly record audio to the camera, there are several steps you must take. First, plug your microphone into one of the XLR inputs, preferably channel one, located at the back of the camera. Two, make sure that the mic and line switch is set to mic and not line. And then the third is make sure if your microphone requires phantom power, which is denoted by mic, plus 48 volts, you flip the switch to the mic 48 volts. In this case, you don't need it. Four, proceed to the other audio panel on the right side of the camera and set audio in for channel one to rear to use the external microphone. Now, if you want to use the internal microphone instead of an external microphone, simply set both channel one and channel two to front. Make sure that you can see the settings such as battery life and available recording time on your display. If you can't see these functions on, on the display, press the display slash mode check button located above the SD card slot. So this one. Press that, toggle it on and off, like so. The camera can be set to automatic or manual control. You'll know if the camera is set to automatic if there's a green A located inside a green box at the top of the screen. So this right here. If the A is not visible, to turn on complete automatic function, simply flip the auto slash manual switch to auto. The switch can be found directly above the directional pad, which is right here. So that is manual. This is auto. If you want to use only manual settings, simply go to the auto manual switch and turn it to manual. Now. If we want to toggle the iris between manual and automatic, go over to the iris wheel, which is located at the front of the camera, and press in the scroll wheel. It is a wheel, but it's also a button. So this will toggle it between manual and automatic iris. And when you're in manual control, going up will open the iris, and going down will close it. And then to go back to automatic, simply press it back in. There are two ways to focus using this camera. The first is by using the uh, focus ring in the front. First, you have to make sure that the ring is set to focus, which is done with this little switch here. So you move it from zoom and iris to focus. 
and this allows for a very smooth focus control. The second is you can use this focus button right here, and you can press it, and it'll do a very quick focus for you. So you can also use the focus ring, as you just saw, for other things besides focusing. You go back to the other side, and you can flip it to zoom and iris, and you can use it to zoom in and out. Or you can use the controls up here on the right side of the camera to zoom in and out. T zooms in, W zooms out. So this camera allows for customizable shutter speed settings. First, you have to toggle the shutter speed from manual to from automatic to manual, my bad. So you want to go over to shutter, which is located above the display mode check button on the side of the camera. And right now, I just turn the shutter off. But if I press it again, I turn it on. And to adjust the shutter speed, right next to the shutter button on the right is a speed selection button. Or there's two of them. There's minus and plus. If I press plus, I'm bringing down the shutter so here. It's getting darker. And if I press the minus, I make it longer. So right there, it's really bright, but it's going to be a really choppy shot. So to set the white balance on this camera, press the white balance button located by the focus ring. And you get a multitude of options that pop up. The first one is going to be auto white balance. So throughout the shot when it's on, if there's a, you know any change in like color, if there's a drastic change in like whites and stuff, it's going to continually change the white balance. So if like there's sun exposure, for example, then there is auto white balance lock. So it'll pick a white surface, and then even if the light changes, it'll still be you know the same color, it just might be darker. And there's a bunch of presets, which are kind of terrible. So you're really going to want to probably use auto white balance lock. And again, to select it, just press the white balance button located by the focus ring at the front of the camera, and just scroll until you get it. If you choose to film without a tripod, you want to turn on the optical image stabilizer, which is marked as OIS on your camera. It's above the speed selection buttons, so you just press it, and that'll turn it on. The headphone jack is located at the back of the camera. It's located above the inputs to the camera for the mics right here on the back left. So you're going to want to pull back the dust cover like so. And you're going to want to plug in the input jack of the headphones. This camera has uh, camera remote jacks at the back. So if you want to use the camera remote on a tripod to zoom in and zoom out, this camera has it. The inputs are located at the back here in the back right behind the dust covers. It's located under the bottom one that says cam remote and plug you know one of the inputs of the camera remote in and you'll be all set. It's important to take note of audio when filming. So you're going to want to watch the levels here on the screen right down here. And you're going to want to have your headphones on as well. Make sure that the audio levels never hit red, because if they do, you're going to have clipping, and it's going to sound awful, and you won't be able to fix it in post. Now that you've adjusted everything on your camera, you're finally ready to record. So to do so, simply press the red uh, record button in between the power switch. You're recording right now. You'll see a red dot on the screen to let you know you're recording. And then when you press it again, you stop, and you'll see a green pause switch to let you know that you're not recording anymore. And that concludes the tutorial for the Panasonic HMC80.